Okay, so a statistic I've just made up says I have 15 seconds to get your guys' interest. Starting... Neil Patrick Harris, nakedness, Emma Stone's adorable, Cumberbatch and Oprah Winfrey have breakfast at Tiffany's, Kevin Hart, John Travolta, Cinderella throws a shoe, I think she meant to say a few, Jack Black ran on stage, Jennifer Lopez took our breath away, Whiplash won everything, still Alice, stayed Alice, if any of this interests you, make sure you stay tuned, jazz hands. So, as you can guess by my lovely recap, that song actually took way too long to make. For today's episode, I will be reviewing the Oscars. How do movie stars do this? The Oscars. Hello, Internet, and welcome to my Oscar review. So, the beginning of the Oscars was incredible. For you guys that don't know, Neil Patrick Harris was the host, and he created the best musical thing on the planet. He managed to include all the past Oscar movies, my childhood. He inserted himself to the fight scene of the Avengers and the Cinderella scene. And the scene from Ghost, you know, where like she's crying on the pot and he's there but he can't feel her. She can't feel him because he's a ghost and he's dead. Just that scene. I mean, it was awesome, and plus it's Neil Patrick Harris. I mean, what? He's gonna rock that crap. Now, the funniest part to me was when he said none of the stars are drunk and bitter yet because none of them have lost. And then they pan to Benedict Cumberbatch, who's drinking from a flask going, go away. I mean, obviously Cumberbatch is adorable, but... Look up that scene. You just have to see the opening. You do. I can't review it enough for you. But then after that, Cinderella runs on stage and she starts singing to him. And Neil Patrick Harris and Cinderella, played by Anna Kendrick, was awesome. And then Jack Black runs on stage and yells at them and makes fun of the movie industry. And that is basically the opening ceremony in a nutshell. Next in the action was Adam Levine rocking the song Lost Stars from Begin Again. Making me even question if he's human. He's just so good, it's not fair. Let me know what you guys think below if he is, if Adam Levine is a human or alien. If he's an alien, maybe he could join the doctor and save the universe. Okay, next, this is one of my favorite things from the Oscars. So I've never watched the Oscars, so I have no clue they do this. Well, every year, apparently, a bunch of hopeful new people in the film industry send in videos, um, like stuff you'd put on YouTube, and they send it in, and then like people like Channing Tatum and all the Academy people vote on which one they want. Six, six people are then chosen and allowed to go to the Oscars and receive an award on stage. I mean, that's incredible, because they're only like two or three years older than me, and they get to go to the Oscars. I completely support this, and I, well, yeah. I mean, that's the awesomest thing I've ever heard. Except maybe Nutella. Nutella might be it. Nutella's really good. Okay, the next thing I have to talk about, you, you guys are going to appreciate it. So I was talking to my mom about this before the Oscars even started, because I had read an article, and then they just kept mentioning it during the Oscars. So there's this job called seat fillers, and I don't think I can explain it that well. So let's cue the commercial. Do you like money? Do you like the Oscars? Are you an attractive nobody? If yes, then take a seat, literally. When your favorite star goes up to hit the bathroom, get food, or get high, it's your job to take that seat because we cannot have open seats at the Oscars. You'll earn a minimum of $125, so, take a seat and open your wallet. I don't have a wallet because I live a sad life, so this is my natural wallet. Segwaying not so subtly into the most energetic performance of the night. Everything is awesome. So, most people were surprised that this movie had it been nominated for Best Animated Film. Because it, everybody loves it except for me, apparently. Everybody. So all the stars as they went on stage, most of them would like make comments about it. 
But what the people of the Lego movie did is when they performed, they went around and had Lego Oscars and they gave it out to all the audience. Well, not all, but some of the celebrities. It was really cool. I want one. Next up is the British humor theory. So Neil Patrick Harris shared his theory with the Oscar audience that anything you say is funnier in a British accent. We're going to test this out and I'm going to say one joke I heard on the internet and you guys are going to let me know in the comment box what do you think. Funnier British? Funnier my normal voice. Or it was the same or in fact I can't even do a British voice so this theory isn't even working. Not my no. I'm a dinosaur. What do you get when you cross a frog and a pig? A lifetime ban from the Muppet Show. British version. What do you get when you cross a frog and a pig? A lifetime ban from the Muppet Show. I think that's the best British accent I've ever done. And now I can't stop. Okay, stopping because I'm probably offending people. But so let me know, is it funnier when I'm British or is it funnier when I'm my normal rude American self? Let me know in the description. So after sharing the theory with the audience, Neil Patrick Harris let us go to commercial. When we came back, we were in for a surprise. He was naked. The only thing he had on was this pair of white tighties that were just like way too small and kind of looked like the bikini underwear lines that girls wear, you know. All I know is I could tell my mom was checking him out, and I got uncomfortable. But I mean, he has a good body. Even I have to admit it. Good go, Neil Patrick Harris. Proud of you. Okay, so I forgot her name, which is really bad. But the woman who got um, the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. I have so much respect. Okay, so when she went on stage, she called for equal wage between women and men and said it was just was stupid, which it is, that we don't have equal wage yet. In a time period where women and men work a lot in the workforce, there should not be the fact that men just earn more per dollar for the same exact job that a woman does. Any excuse you make for it, I don't approve. I love this actress for saying this. And as soon as she said it, almost every female actress in the audience just went crazy. Especially Jennifer Lopez and Meryl Streep. Their reactions were priceless. I love them and I totally agree with them. That is just something that needs to happen. On the same page as rights and all that stuff, I was blown away by their performance of Glory. There's John Legend and another person who did the rapping. I really should know their names, but as you learn when as you continue watching my videos, hopefully, I awful at names. I'm worse than Dory from Finding Nemo with names. But anyway, they gave one of the most powerful performances I've ever seen. And they like had a fake bridge that's um, where people actually march. And there was like all these people coming on stage, reenacting the march of with Martin Luther King. And it was such a powerful song. They definitely deserved to win an Oscar, which they did. Go YouTube that video after this. I know this video is running kind of long, so the last thing I'm going to mention from the Oscars is Lady Gaga's amazing performance. She wore this stunning dress and had this orchestra behind her and this whole wood set up, and they did a mashup of The Sound of Music, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. And then Julie Grisell went on stage, who plays the main actress, and she's like the universe's grandma. Universal Grandma. I want her to be my grandma. I love my grandma, I do, but I want her to be, like, I want to have an extra grandma. I do. She's just... She is the most elegant, well put together, kindest human being I have ever had the chance to witness. And I love her. So on that happy note, I hope you liked my video. I know I didn't post videos for a couple days, that's because I'm switching from my normal schedule of a video every day to a video on Wednesdays and Fridays. I know it's kind of a huge drop from seven videos a week, but I decided it'll be a lot better because then I can actually put time into editing and writing scripts and putting together the videos for you guys so you can enjoy them. Also, I'm thinking about starting this thing called Fandom Fridays. Let me know what you think about it in the comment just below. Comment is in the description. I don't know what I was going to say. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Because I was thinking of this idea that every single Friday I produce 
a video, but it's themed around fandoms. Like, if you don't know what a fandom is, it's like a TV show or movie or world or band, anything really, anything people like, it's a fandom. So I was thinking about doing that. Let me know and I'll see you Friday.